Wi-Fi dead spot is a common problem in this modern era. From mobile phones, PCs, or laptops, gaming consoles, and smart home devices, they all need a stable internet connection for them to work properly. Hello there tech buddies, welcome to Tech and Things. This channel is created for product unboxing, product review, and preview of gadgets that we already have in our house or further tech that we want or interested in. Having a weak Wi-Fi signal is a common issue in households which have multiple floors, wide floor areas, and thick walls with steel within them. I already upgraded our Wi-Fi router to a gaming router with good Wi-Fi coverage. Well, for 2.4 GHz. Unfortunately, I'm still having issues with the 5 GHz band, which is the ideal band if you want faster connections. I've tried using Wi-Fi repeater before, a Xiaomi brand. It works, but it only works for 2.4 GHz and decreases the internet bandwidth into half. For this video, we will unbox and test the TP-Link RE205 Wi-Fi extender and see if it can fully expand the Wi-Fi coverage in your house while maintaining the internet speed. First, the tech specs and features of the TP-Link RE205. The TP-Link RE205 A750 have dual band channels, which can support up to 433 Mbps for 5 GHz and 300 Mbps for 2.4 GHz. It can also be used as an access point and can easily be set up via the Tether app. It has a compact wall plug design and have external antennas for greater Wi-Fi coverage. It can easily be set up with the WPS button and can easily be placed in an optimal location via the smart signal indicator. It also has an Ethernet port for wired devices. It also has a high-speed mode to boost performance and adaptive path selection to automatically choose which band to use on your main Wi-Fi router. I bought this true Lazada for 1,850 pesos, approximately less than $40 as of this time. Let's do a quick unboxing of the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. It comes with a quick installation guide which was very helpful during the simple setup. Here's the Wi-Fi extender. It can be directly plugged to your wall outlet. On top, you will see the WPS button for easy pairing with your router with WPS button as well. And LED signals for power, signal strength, and dual band channels availability. On the bottom part, an Ethernet port for wired connections, which I will try later. It has two antennas which can be moved to your preference. It's a good thing that they added an Ethernet port on this router. It enables you to connect a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi card but have available Ethernet port. It also provides a stable connection to your device, limiting interference especially for 2.4 GHz band. I have done series of tests via different connection modes from the main router, repeater, and wired repeater connection and different locations. Here are the results. Comparing the connection near the main router versus the second floor, upload speed was decreased and signal strength was weaker. When the repeater was used via wireless connection, it improved upload speed and signal strength was very good. When the repeater was used via wired connection, it improved the upload speed even more.
Comparing the connection between the main router and wired repeater, you will get the same speed and signal strength which confirms that the repeater is really working flawlessly. Let's check the Tether app interface and features. It will give you a list of all TP-Link devices in your network. Logging into the repeater, you will see the connection status of your main router, number of clients connected to the repeater, and login credentials of your extended network. In the clients page, you will see more detailed information for the clients connected. Here are the other tools of the app. The extended network lets you enable or disable the wireless bands and manage network name and password. Here, you can see that I only use it to extend the 5 GHz signal since 2.4 GHz was stable via the main router. In the host network, you will see that the details of the main router and the signal strength, details for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz is shown in a separate tab. You can also choose to reselect which host network you want to connect. As I've said earlier, the repeater can also act as a mesh access point. This is possible if your main router or host network supports the same feature. This is sure to work with TP-Link newer routers. In high-speed mode, the repeater uses one dedicated Wi-Fi band to boost the extender performance. It will only use only one band to focus the power and amplify band signal strength and speed. This can be in automatic or you can manually select which band you want to boost. Location Assistant helps you to find the best location for your extender by checking the signal strength received from the main router. This can also be seen in the LED indicator. Under Share Wi-Fi, you can share the credentials of your extender via Share option of your phone or as a QR code. For LED control, you have an option to turn off the LED indicators of the repeater so that if you place it in a room, the LED lights will not bother you or get the kids' attention. In operation mode, you can choose the function of the repeater if it will act as your Wi-Fi range extender or as an access point to your non-wireless switch or router. And finally, under System, you will be able to manage your repeater's password, update its firmware, reboot the device, restore it to factory settings, and log out user from the app. Now, let's test it in our gaming console. You will see that the internet speed will improve from 1.4 Mbps to 20 Mbps and based from playing a few games, there was no high latency and packet loss experienced. If you are looking for a solution to improve the signal strength and eliminate Wi-Fi dead spots in your house, the TP-Link RE205 AC750 is a good solution rather than laying some Ethernet cable around the house. There are cheaper Wi-Fi extenders in the market, but the performance, features, and build quality makes the additional cost worth it. Stay tuned for the new content and live streams on our channel for more tech and things. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.